In today's video, I am going to teach you how to publish your own module on PyPy. So keep watching. Hi there, welcome to Saral Gyan. If you are a Python programmer, you must have used several modules and installed them using pip install the module name. Have you ever built a program or module which you want to share with the other programmers? If yes, tell me about it in the comment section below. You can make your module public by publishing it on PyPy and once it's done, anyone can install and use your module using pip install your module name. Recently, I published my first module, Saral Gyan PDF Parser on PyPy. And in this video, I will teach you how you can publish your own projects to PyPy. So let's start it. To concentrate on the publishing process, we will be creating a simple module which will ask the user for a number and then print such square. First of all, we need to decide the name of the module and it can be a bit difficult. Most of the names are already taken. So general convention is adding your name or initial in the front or end of the module name. So let's try if Saral hyphen square is available. So there is no module name Saral hyphen square. So we will be using Saral hyphen square as a module name. So let's start coding. We will open our terminal. And here we will create a new directory. Saral hyphen square. And then we will cd into this directory. And now we will initiate a virtual environment. For that we will be doing python 3.8 minus m when and then dot. And if you don't know much about virtual environments, I have a video on it. You can check it out. Now our virtual environment have been created and we will activate it using source bin activate. And in this directory, we will be creating another directory called mkdir square. And now I will open this directory in sublime text. And now in this directory called square, we will be creating three files. The first file will be dunder main.py. And the second directory will be dunder init.py now we will open init and this will hold the version number of our module and we will be doing version is equal to 1.0.0 in the next video i will be telling you more about the version management of your application and other troubleshooting so if you want to be notified about that video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and now we will move to our main function in the main function i will be defining a function called main define main and number is equal to int input enter the number and here we will say only positive integers allowed remember that we are keeping our module simple so we won't be handling any error or adding any documentation and next we will be doing print f number squares is number square so here I have used f string and if you don't know much about f string I will leave a link to the tutorial in the description below and finally we will be calling if name is equal to main main again if you're wondering what is this and how it works i will leave the link to a detailed tutorial in the description below so now our dunder main file is ready let's run it locally first so i will save it and i will move to this since our square folder has an init file and we have uh, if name is equal to main thing in our main file we can simply run it using python square and now it has asked for a number i will enter two and it says two squares is four so our module works perfectly now inside the saral hyphen square 
directly we need to create few files and the first one will be setup.py we will be using it to create the setup file which we will publishing on the pypy the second one is readme.md it is in all caps and since it's good to host the code on github too we will be adding a git ignore file and the license file so here we will be doing dot git ignore and then another file called license in all big caps and in case of complex module you will be needing manifest.in2 let's create that too but we won't be using so here in Saral Square, I'll be creating another file called manifest.in. So all of our files have been created now. Let's deal with each file one by one. First of all is readme.md. You might not agree at first, but this is the most important file of any module. Your code or module could be awesome, but if you haven't written a good readme file, then no one will be able to understand it and use it and here you can see the readme file of my module called sgi fun pdf parser so i have given the description installation how to use it and then license i have also a video guide so i have given the link to video guide also. we will be using the markdown to write our readme file i will copy it from snippets and walk you through it and i will leave the github links to all these codes and files in the description below so I have copied this from my snippet. So first of all, I have given the name of the module that is Saralgyan Square. And this one hash or pound sign says it is H1. And then this will be printed as a paragraph. And then two hash means H2. And this is a code block. And this again is the H2. And finally, it's the license. It is also H2. This is the simplest readme file. And in my opinion, any module should have at least this much information that is how to install it and how to use it. We are done with our readme file so we can close it. Moving on to the license file, we will be using MIT license which means that anyone can use or edit the code. So I will copy it here. This is the standard language and you just need to change the year and your name here. So we are done with the license file so we will save it and close this one too. Moving on to git ignore file, we will be creating a git repository and then we will be pushing that repository to github. So what this file does is, it specifies the folder or the file which we don't want to push to the github server. For example, we have here bin include lib folders which are the part of the virtual environment which we created and we don't want to push them to our repository on github let's copy git ignore file from here and we will save it if your working directory hold any kind of files or folder which you don't want to push to github you can add it here for example for my pdf parser i had created few uh, folders which i didn't want to push to the repository so i have added this with the tag my files you can also do the similar so we will save it and close it. Now moving on to the most important file that is setup.py. This is the file which helps you to create a distribution file for your module which we eventually push to PyPy. So I have copied it from my snippets and I will walk you through it. So this is importing the path library and then from setup tool it has imported setup which will allow us to create the distribution files and then we have given the name of the directory in which all these files are then we have told that our readme file has a name readme.md and this is a setup which will work we will give the name of our module so here it would be saral hyphen square and then we will be giving the version number which is 1.0.0 so our module the version is hold in two files one is setup.p file and another one is init file so then we will give a small description of it it just say it squares the number and the long description is in the readme file and the readme file is in the markdown format and then i have given the url of my github page where i will be hosting the whole code and then the name of the author then the email of the author 
and then the license i have told we will be using the mit license and in classifier we will be telling the versions with which our module is compatible and since our module uses f string so it would be compatible or it will work with python 3.6 and above and that is what i have mentioned here and the next folder is packages packages is the folder which you want from which you want to create the distribution file so in our case it is the square folder include package data if you want to add images or some kind of static data to your module then you have to set to and add your static data here install requires gives the list of the third party module which are needed to run your module for example my module sg pdf parser used two third party modules the first one is uh, pi pdf2 and the other one was colorama so i had to add those modules in this list separated by comma and when somebody will install my module that is sg hyphen pdf parser pi pdf2 and colorama will also be installed automatically the last one is entry point it is a bit important here the name of our module is saral hyphen square it is a bit lengthy and you don't want your user to type saral hyphen square every time so here you will give a short name for example i have given square and if somebody will type square then the module will run the main file in square so basically instead of calling saral hyphen square in the terminal after installing the user can simply say square and our module will run this is it for the setup.py file now we will save this one and close it too so now our package is ready for publishing and we will move to terminal we will be updating to module pip install upgrade that is setup tools and v so both the modules have been updated and the another module which we will be needing to publishing our own module is twine so we will be doing pip install twine now twine has been installed we will create a source archive for our module and for that we will be doing python setup.py s distribution and b distribution wheel so it has created all the files in the distribution folder and if you go to our folder so here we have got build which has got two files and then a distribution folder which has got a tar.gj file and a wheel file now let's check our distribution file to see if it is fine so we can do twine check distribution star and it says that both files are compatible to be pushed to pypy if you are on linux or mac you can do tar t z f and then the name of the tar file which in our case is saral square saral hyphen square hyphen 1.0.0 dot t a r dot g z okay i have made a typo tar dot g z so we have got the error because we haven't specified our directory it is in the distribution folder so we will be doing distribution and then this and if you open it it will show you all the files and our init file is here our main file is here our setup file readme file manifest all of the files are available here so we are good to go since our module is a simple one and we are using it just for the demo purposes we won't be cluttering pypy by pushing it to the original pypy and there is another site called test pypy where you can push your sample modules or the, your test modules to check whether they work perfect or not for that you have to go to test.pypy.org and you have to register here and once you are registered you have to go back to your terminal and here you have to do twine upload repository hyphen url https test.pypy.org slash legacy slash and then what you want to push you want to push dist star so what this will be doing this will be publishing our module on test pypy and if you press enter it will ask for your username i will enter my username and then it will ask for your password i will enter my password and 
so now I have pushed my module to this and if we copy this and if we open here you can see Saralgan square module is available here and we have our small readme file and we have got the name of the author the license all those fields which we have mentioned in our setup.py file are shown here for example license is shown here programming languages are shown here so our module has been published and now we can check it out so we will copy this and move back and here we will install it so the module has been installed and as I told you earlier you can run the module simply by saying square and it asks for the number and if I press 4 4 squares is 16 so our module is working properly and now I haven't used the local one I have installed it from test pipi and then used it moving back to test pipi page here is a link called home page and this will open the github page where we, which we have mentioned in our setup file since we haven't created the git page yet so we should do that too so i will move to my github page and here i'll create a new repository and in this repository i will name it saral square a sample code for Saral SQL module for publishing tutorial and we will create this repository and then we move back to the terminal and here we will init get first so we'll be doing init git init so the git repository has been initiated if we look at the status it says these files have not been pushed yet so we will be doing git add and then we will be doing git commit minus m initial commit so the initial commit has been done so we will be adding the remote from here so we have added the remote and now we will be doing git origin master and all our files have been pushed to the github repository and if you again refresh it it holds all the file and readme file and if you go to license it shows you the mit license and all stuff and now you would be wondering how to publish your module to the original pypy it is even easier you just have to do twine upload dist star and if you enter it it will ask you for your username and then the password and then your module will be published on pypy i won't be entering it for now so let's cancel this so now we have successfully published our first module on pypy this is it for this video in the next video i will be teaching you how to handle the versions and how to make changes to your description page on pypy or github and I will also be giving you some troubleshooting tips which you must know before publishing your modules to PyPy. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.